right, so today we're going to be doing the rear brakes on the Stelpio Ti. You can look right here. You can see that, well, hopefully you can see that, but uh, there is no pad left. I'll show you a better look at that later, but we're going to be doing pads and rotors. The thing about this is that since it has an electronic parking brake, you actually have to go inside the car to actually set it up before you can actually get this parking brake off, or you can get the caliper off because the parking brake is going to be compressing everything together. So, let's take a look at this. I have the car on just because I just did an oil change, but we're going to go into the menu, settings, you scroll all the way down to driver assistance, and then you can see that there's a brake service menu. So to do this, the parking brake has to be off already, so that's what that is. I hit that, you read that menu, it basically says, would you like to retract the parking brakes? I say yes. It says initializing brake service. It says a bunch of stuff in here too. But if we go back, it says right here, parking brake retracted. To reset this and get out of this brake service mode, press the brake pedal and activate the parking brake switch. So we'll do that at the very end, but right now, if you can see, the parking brake light is flashing. It does have a warning for the parking brake, but basically what's happening is that this thing is in service mode. So I'm just gonna shut this off real quick and we'll get going with the rest of the DIY. So the first things first, again, go into your car, deal with the parking service mode. So this doesn't lock on you and you can get this caliper off. So the first thing you wanna do, you have your parking brake connector which you want to undo by uh, pulling this guy out like so and then pinching the plug to get that thing out of the way you also have your brake pad wear sensor back here undo that and then you can get this whole harness tucked out of the way here so next up I'm just going to get this guy pushed out of the way off that clip to be nice and easy to work with. And you're going to go back here. So this guy, your parking brake actuator, has an O-ring on it that goes into the caliper. And there's a 5mm here, and then there's a 5mm on that side right there where my finger is pointing to. Pull those off, and then you can take a screwdriver and kind of pry this guy out. And that's pretty simple. The other part you need to do is undo this faceplate just for ease of use. Um, this caliper or pad retaining clip. And then some 7mm Allens for the slides and everything comes out. So let's put you on the ground and we'll get this started. So, as you can see, pretty dang simple right here. Now let's switch you up to the front, where we'll be doing the front side of the calendar. caliper retaining clip off the next step I like to do is retract the caliper this way and that's just by sticking the a pry bar into the rotor since everything is getting replaced anyways and then just prying back and as you can see that's fully retracted so now we can work on the caliper slides And that would be your 7 mil Allen. Now everything should be loose. Yep. Like so.
spongy. Move your bungee around. So there you have it at this point in time. Pads are off. So there's not much pad left. It's getting definitely worn down. Um, so the next up, I'm gonna get this guy loosened. Um, and then we can take this caliper bracket off. So this is once again a five mil and I'm gonna use an impact screwdriver just so I don't strip it out. And this is an E18. I only have up to an E16, but I found a 12.14 mil works if you're careful. What I'd like to do is put a little bit of valve lapping compound around here, and that way it gives a little bit tighter of a friction fit, and then you can loosen everything pretty easily. And voila so there you have it everything you need for a brake shop on an alpha stelvio again no special tools needed you can get you don't need a special programming thing or anything like that because that guy comes off really really easily um, again install is the opposite of removal definitely clean this stuff put some anti seize put some grease on here so it doesn't uh, corrode so this doesn't happen again and there you have it so this video this clip right here is 12 minutes long obviously you're going to take another 12 minutes or so putting everything together add another five minutes to clean everything but it is a quick quick job so hopefully in under 20 minutes for this youtube video you'll see a good example of how to do a brake job in alfa romeo stelvio ti thank you all for watching